Welcome back. LSU freshman Wendy Martin, a native of Eagle River, Alaska, was crowned the 2014 Miss National Sweetheart in July. But that's not all she's been able to accomplish. She's also earned a four-year scholarship to Louisiana State University through the Army R ROTC this fall as a cadet. Martin said in a report that she wasn't allowed to be in pageants unless she agreed with her parents to be in the ROTC too. So she climbed the ranks from a naval junior ROTC unit, eventually becoming the commanding officer. Martin also won the title of Miss Denali before going to compete in the Miss National Sweetheart pageant. When she graduates in 2017, she reportedly wants to become a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army. From high heels to combat boots, you gotta love it. Now, one of the largest exhibits at the Alaska Sea Life Center is undergoing routine maintenance, which means the tank in the aviary will be under construction until next month. The edges of the acrylic tank are being sealed to prevent water leaks. The center waited until the busiest part of their season passed, but have to act now so there's enough time for the seal to cure. While the exhibit is down, admission is 30% off for visitors, and all the animals who usually live in the Avery have been relocated to other parts of the museum. However, the birds were moved to an area out of sight from the public. Even with the birds in seclusion, there is still a lot to view. There's still plenty of stuff to see. Our mammal tanks are, are uh, full. Our aquarium uh, is, is uh, completely operational. So uh, other than that, uh, that uh, bird habitat. So it, it's a great opportunity to come down, save a, a third on admission, and uh, see almost all of the, uh, the critters that are, that are normally housed here. The tank has been used consistently for over 15 years, but this is the second time since opening that the tank has been drained. Now, on a personal note, I but love aquariums. And if you haven't yet been to the Sea Life Center in Seward, it's just amazing and definitely worth the drive. Now, stay tuned for an early look at your weekend weather. That's with your weather guru, Ryan Overton, as he brings us the statewide forecast.